Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Goodlock 2020. So we do have some brand new updates to Goodlock 2020. As you know, just recently, it did get updated, so it's fully compatible uh, with One UI 2.0 but just a couple days ago and, and over the last few weeks, we have been getting some steady updates that is bringing back all the features of Good Luck, both on the unit side and the family side, okay? So let's dive in real quick. The very first thing that we have now is in fact Lock Star, which allows you to fully customize your lock screen. So let me show you what that is. This, with the brand new update, this is now fully compatible with One UI 2.0. So basically when you enable this, you can customize your lock screen, okay? So I'm gonna tap on edit lock screen. I'm gonna pick a wallpaper from the bottom right over here. Let's just pick something real nice and cool. Let's pick a nice bright color. Let's go with this uh, blue color right here. Then you go to position, and with the position, what you can do is you can change the position of all these things on the screen and put it anywhere you want, including these guys. You can put them left or right, wherever you feel like, all right? Of course, you don't wanna put it in this area where it overlaps with a fingerprint sensor. So I'm going to keep it somewhere right here, and I can put this here. Now, one of the other really superior things with this layout is you can go to the clock and pick from all these cool clocks, okay? And there's so many of them. Uh, you even have this thing right here. You got this Japanese style or whatever language that is. Then you got these different formats here. And if I keep going, it gets even better. Look at those. These are absolutely beautiful um, little clocks. Look at that one, that one, and if you go all the way to the end, you know, you get things like these right here, and you also have the uh, actual letters, 1030, okay, 1030. So we got this, 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 just so you know, you can download this and take a look at it, and basically you put the clock anywhere that you want, you put the notifications anywhere that you want, all right, and then you click save, and then when you go to your lock screen, let me just lock my uh, device right here, it's gonna change the lock screen to whatever you want it. Now, you see a little arrow here, that's also a part of the uh, good lock. Let me show you what that is. So let's go back into the good lock. Now, I do want to show you with this one right here, uh, again, you have a couple extra options such as lock screen timeout. So you can tap on this one and you can also change this as well. Uh, I would just keep this at, at default, wouldn't worry about it too much. But when I go back into my good lock suite, at the bottom, we do have something brand new, and that's the Noti Star. So Noti Star is the notification management screen. It basically catches all your notifications in one place. Even though the notifications that you got rid of, it's gonna show it to you just in case. So when I did go to my lock screen, you notice that there's an arrow at the bottom. If I swipe this arrow up, it shows me every single notification that came today onto my phone, okay? And I can, from here, I can clear all of it or I can go through all of it if I so desire. So let me just go back, log right back in. So that's one more thing that was added uh, to Good Lock, the Noti Star, but we also have updates to every single component right here. For example, if you go into the clock face right over here, you get the option to pick all these different clocks. Let me just click allow uh, from here, okay? So you have all these options uh, as far as the clocks are concerned, and these clocks can be applied to the actual lock screen. Uh, you can change the colors, or you can also apply to the always on display, all right? So that's the, uh, the clock waste. Uh, then we do have the task changer option here. Again, it's got some updates, but basically this allows you to change uh, the task changer right here. As you can see, I have the list view, but you have all these options. You got the stack view, as you can see, all right? Uh, you have the uh, grid view, as you can see, all right? And then we have some other options, uh, such as the vertical stack view, which is also something cool. It was already here for a while. And if you swipe down, you got the ability to change the background blur. So look, if I tap this, notice how the background blurs out. Now, if I go back in and, and eliminate that, the background doesn't actually blur out. The background where the 
uh, apps are not visible. So let me do something small, let's do the list view, tap on this, take a look at the background, it did not blur. But if I were to apply the blurring effect, boom, I get a blurring effect, all right? So that's the uh, task changer that I really like myself. But we have so many more options, okay? Real quick, if you don't know what good lock is, it's only available for Samsung smartphones. To get it, you go to your finder, type in Galaxy uh, Store, and simply search for good luck, okay? Now, some countries are not gonna have good luck. Uh, if you don't have it, simply go to Play Store and search for nice lock. That's an alternative that you can use uh, that can be uh, downloaded via the Play Store. But that's how you get the good lock. Once you download good luck, you launch it, and then you download each individual component one by one. For example, with this one, you tap here, it takes you to the store, you tap on install if you don't have it, all right? And then, let me show you one more thing. If you go over to the family side, you have all these options that came right back. Things uh, like the One Hand Operation Plus, Edge Lighting Plus. This gives you even more options for your Edge Lighting notifications. You can pick from all these nice options here. Now remember, uh, the Note 10 devices and the latest S10 devices already have these, but if you have an older Samsung phone, you can pick from all these different uh, notification effects, as you can see. So that's one. We also have things like the Edge Touch. So when I go to Edge Touch, it allows me to make sure that I prevent any unintended touches onto the sides of the screen. So you can make the area even wider so when you touch it, it doesn't actually uh, accept any input. So that's the Edge Touch. Uh, one of the biggest things here from the family section is a theme park. If you haven't seen this, take a look at it. You can design a brand new theme for your actual phone and you can pick a wallpaper right from your gallery. So if I go to my gallery from here, all right, I can pick any photo I want and it can turn into a theme. So let's just grab this one just to show an example. Take a look at that. It took that photo, it extracted all the colors from that photo and it created a theme for me, all right? And then what I can do is I can modify that theme. I can change the colors of that theme as I please. Uh, from the bottom, I can change the icon, icon packs if I want to. Take a look at the icons, the colors and everything can be changed. It's all going to be up to you. And then when you're done, you simply tap on save, just like this. Let's just say test, click OK, all right? It's going to create and install the theme for you guys. As you can see, it's very quick. Now we're done, it takes you to a theme. You tap on this one, you can apply this theme, okay? So you can create any theme from any photo you want which is fantastic. It's all based on your individual personal likes. And look at how everything has just changed. It just looks beautiful, all right? Now let's go back here. Actually, let me quickly go back to my regular theme just for the sake of this video. Let's go to themes, tap over here, go to my themes and just pick the default one for now, all right? Applying theme back to business. All right, so let's go back into the good luck. I'm gonna show you one more thing that I personally really like. And I'm doing this video for people that are wondering what good luck is and also want the details on it, not just to see the updates. So if you go to family at the bottom, we've got something known as a sound assistant. You tap on this one, all right, and basically you can enable a floating button uh, for your sound. Let's pick it to be 15 seconds. Now when I uh, press on volume up or volume down, I actually get a sound assistant that I can tap on which gives me more options. I can change the volume from here. I can tap this, make it more compact. I can tap on this one, uh, go to my equalizer. I can tap on this one uh, to, to access my pre presets if I make some of those. And that's it, okay? So you have this sound assistant that stays here. It can float about or you can dismiss it into the middle of the screen. So that's fantastic as well. So that's the good luck. And you have all these things right over here. You also have something known as a nice catch that lets you know why your phone vibrated, okay? So I don't know if somebody likes that, you can have that option as well. And we talked about the Edge Touch. We also have the One Hand Operation Plus, which is quite a complex application, but basically it allows you to use the Edge screen with more detail. For example, I can turn this on, all right? I have the left handle, which is right here, and I got the right handle. With the left handle, what I can do 
is I can bring up various things by swiping diagonally like this, okay? That brings up the multitasking. I can go down like this. It's going to do something. I can go back like this. And the funny thing is you can go back in here and change what happens when you swipe this way, this way, or downwards. So, for example, just an example. Bam. Uh, let's go to start an application. And let's just say uh, calculator. Now, when I uh, go back here and go like this, it's going to actually uh, start the calculator, as you can see, diagonal up. So that's the Edge Screen Plus. You can use it on this side and this side and fully customize your phone, all right? I'm gonna make a video with more details for this specific app because it is actually quite complex, but that's a uh, good luck overall. Uh, make sure that you download this. It's a very powerful customization app for Samsung smartphones. And if you already know about it, here you go. We got the brand new updates. Everything is coming back fully compatible with One UI 2.0 and Android 10 on your Samsung devices. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, just let me know. Drop those down below. For now, have a fantastic day. All right, guys? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button. And also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.